Welcome back, everybody. Max and I here were playing some more Shining Force. Not entirely too much left to do in this battle. Just gotta mop up these guys and try not to take too much damage, really. Uh, it's not gonna be entirely that bad, though. I know that we managed to sweep through without anybody dying. Um, unfortunately, Gort does not gain a level here. I don't even remember. Yeah, he doesn't even get the chance to get but one point of experience from the bats. Because they're gonna start putting him to sleep. Pretty unfortunate. Um, wound up healing Luke here. Putting low in danger, but you know. I don't have a lot that I can do about that. At this point, I just go ahead and I. Th yeah. I kill this bat because. I felt like it. I mean, I could have injured the other one, but you know, what's the difference? It doesn't really matter. And Gort is, well, he's only taking one damage, but this bat's going to come down and attack him, and he'll be put out of commission permanently for the rest of the battle, because he's asleep. Luckily, he can take a lot of damage, but... Now, luckily, also, these Rune Knights don't want to move for some reason, so I'm going to take advantage of the fact and go ahead and... Um... You start damaging them from here. Since they don't want to move, that's fine with me. I will just deal damage from here and not worry about them. Uh, this was kind of dangerous for low because if he had been two shotted there, or a du double attacked, I should say, that would have been terrible. But you know, it worked out. trying my best to distribute this experience. Doesn't always work out, though. I think there's any... Yeah, low needs to be healed. There we go. Oh, shoot, that's right. I chose instead to let low heal himself. I think he wound up healing Gong anyways. Because of that. I figured it was best to block off those knights' route to, uh, to Gong because of the way that he they could have just came over, came over and hurt him real bad or something, I think it was. Now this is where I learned that healing herbs don't necessarily heal for ten. See, they only healed for eight. That was really terrible, I wasn't expecting that. You know? I was really hoping they would heal for ten, but... Eh, whatever. And Gort continues to sleep. But luckily he's soaking up damage and letting the other guys t uh, actually get all the experience. So that's nice. I'm also kind of... And I don't know why I'm doing it... Uh, I'm probably doing it this way because I'm able to spread out the experience better, but spreading out the damage, of course, seems like a dangerous thing to do, but... I also figured on giving this herb to low because I'm sure he can use it on someone. Get some more experience. And that knight just doesn't want to move. I find that kind of hilarious. So I'll just go hurt him. Rather than having Luke steal that experience from himself. Choosing who to target here was... I mean, I, I figured I wouldn't be able to kill the giant bat. And I was right, but still. Ooh. Was not expecting that. Oh well. Gives a target to attack with the uh, 
or a target for uh, a healing herb. Yeah, that's it. And apparently there was some slowdown there. I don't know. Something was going on. Battle still takes an awful long time. Yeah, if that hadn't happened, it would have been a little faster. Sleep spell ends. But not for long! Doesn't take him very long to get put back to sleep, believe me. Next time, the next bat that attacks will easily do it. I thought about not killing this guy, but then I decided it was probably for the, for the best to just go ahead and get the experience. You know, another level doesn't hurt. Two, two attack. Yeah, I don't mind that. Also, a point of MP that's kind of useless. I think I was having difficulty deciding if it would be best to go ahead and kill the guy with her. Don't remember who kills this guy. Yeah, I wound up. Gaining my experience that way. Um, I just cannot remember. It's stupid doing these last Friday. What I'll have to do is like take a full Sunday or something and just do a whole bunch of everything. Someday. And Hans gained a level and got a point of speed and two points of HP, joy. Well, Hans has the same HP as Ken now. Ah, nice. Hand over the medical herb. He didn't have one to use, unfortunately, so I just decided to attack. Three points of experience for attacking wasn't so bad. But maybe it's because his level was so low. Gord still having to skip his turn. Hans gaining barely a little bit of experience just to do the attack there. Yeah, choosing to do this was just a little too late, but whatever. Yeah, nice. Changing targets for no apparent reason. Oh well. Once again, somebody who can... transfer a medical herb to someone who can actually use it. Now this was nice right here. Getting him the experience for doing that gave him another level. And three more points of MP, which lets him heal that much more. Five times in a battle now is not bad. And this gives me a chance to start healing again. And Gort still do doesn't get Jesse to get any more experience, unfortunately. Ow. All kinds of damage getting dealt all over the place. But, oh wow. Talk about prolonging the battle. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Well, she didn't need healing anyways. I think for once nobody needed healing. Well, the ones that needed it, we weren't going to be able to get to them anyways.
Yeah, I don't know. I was getting seeing all kinds of crazy slowdown there for some reason. Don't know what was going on. Alright, but that's enough of that. I've managed to finish that battle. We're waking our way into Alterone. When we come back, we'll be exploring Alterone and finding out what's going on here. See ya.